friends, welcome back to my channel. So yeah, uh, this week has been so crazy and we are, I am behind on my eight ball, I gotta say. So thanks for being patient with me, but wanted to get back on track by doing my Easter themed mini planner setup. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. <clears throat> so if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. I hope you will subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And if you're not new, then welcome back. You guys are like my BFFs. All right. So I should have one more month. There we go. All right, this week was crazy because I was gone for a few days. There was like snow, like crazy. And, um, it's just been a, it's just been a weird, a weird month, kind of, or not months, but like, well, it's been a weird month, but it's been a weird couple weeks, and it's been a very, very stressful, stressful couple weeks, so that is like, always hard. So I'm at the end of my, if you can believe that, I'm at the end of my um, quarter at the beginning of the year when I was like, I'm going to plan quarterly and um, I'm at the end of my quarter so I'm gonna have to pull these out and put my other ones in pretty soon but all right so so yeah this week has been a doozy it's been a doozy and I am so glad I know this sounds horrible but I'm just so glad it's over I mean I had a good time on my trip but I left early because of the impending weather and then it just has been a very long, stressful week. I'm just glad to be, oh, I'm just glad it's over. I have to, I have more stress up coming tomorrow, but I'm gonna get through it. But it's, it's just been a long week. And you know, that's life, right? Like you don't, not everything's always perfect, but you gotta make the best of it. So I'm trying to find out all the Easter themed. I do have to say though, on a completely stress-related notion, this has been a very stressful week, but planning does seem to subdue a little bit of that because I have some direction in my life and I feel like it helps to not feel so overwhelmed all the time, all the moments, um, which is really helpful. And it just kind of helps you like to bridge like what you're actually going to be doing. I'm wondering if weekly highlight, this is the weekly highlight, so I feel like this should be, and you can still see the weekly highlight box behind it. That says visit the Easter Bunny. Dying Easter eggs. So that's gotta be on here. I think I'm gonna do that Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday, but I'm gonna wait a second on that because I want to, uh, I feel like I still want a few full boxes, maybe not. So yeah, the first day of spring, literally it was the first day of spring, it was like freezing and there was a bunch of snow on the, impending snowstorm on the ground, it was kind of funny. Um, this is supposed to go on the spring box, and the, but I'm not gonna use it that way. I think I'm gonna wait on that one too. I feel like I just need, I don't know, they're not some washy. I don't really feel like I need washy, but I feel like I need some, uh... I don't, it looks like the bunny is like jumping over to the next week. I'm a big fan of the full boxes, so I'm gonna have to dig through my other planners and see if I can come up with a couple full, full boxes also. That are really super bright and cheery. I think my cheese happy one. Or my mom won my one. I don't know if there's very. Yeah, like there's the pink. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do the pink. And then let's do the blue. Changing my thoughts here. Okay, so then Easter 
Easter. I love Easter. Easter's probably on my list of holidays. Probably one of the top, top favorite. So I'll tell you that my favorite part of Halloween, although I do think Halloween is fun, but my favorite part of Halloween is the fact that like, it's the official start of Christmas after Halloween for me. That's like when my Christmas tree comes out and I feel like it's Christmas mode. But Halloween in and of itself, it's cute to see the kids in the costume, but it's like, it's fun, don't get me wrong, I still like it, but it's just not my favorite of the events. So then, if I'm gonna pick my favorite, of course, Christmas, without any question, but then you start to go down the list of the others, and of course Thanksgiving and Christmas are kinda like one, I love Thanksgiving, they're kinda like one holiday almost to me in a way, because it's like, I kinda blend them together. I know that I am not a, probably a fan favorite for a lot of people by doing that, but I just feel like there's so much fun to have together. And I like to enjoy my Christmas tree whilst cooking turkey. Like, I don't know if there's a law against that. But anyhow, so that's kind of one holiday to me. And then you go into um, the new year. And of course, Valentine's Day I love, but that's more of, you know, a loving holiday. It's not really a family holiday. I mean, it can be. You can make anything a family holiday, but I'm sorry. It's like, there we go. You can kind of out of frame there. But, and so then you have Easter, which is probably my second favorite. It's a very, very, very close, close call between um, Easter and 4th of July. I really like 4th of July, but I do like both of them. But I think, e I think Easter gets the, gets the head on the scenario. The days are long, but the years are short. I feel like I might incorporate this into this one. Well, like Alright, so then I'm going to flip back over here. And by the way, this is the seasonal, um, seasonal mini planner setup. I got this, I think, at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still sell it or not, but that's where I got it. And I was looking on the Mambi site of what sticker books they're still selling, and I'm pretty sure I have the ma I, I own the majority, which makes me happy, but then I also feel like they've discontinued some, and so that's probably why. But they're discontinuing. If they do that, it's because they're coming out with better, new, better stuff. It's not because they're like, oh, we just don't want to. Like, all the Girl Line sticker books, though, have been my favorite sticker books, and I've been trying to use them sparingly because I don't want them to like get sold or like get used really quickly and then not have another one but I hope they come out with some more sticker books like that because they're definitely my favorite okay there's another <clears throat> there's another weekend one that I want right there what was it it was another like mom hair don't care maybe it was that one I don't remember. It was like one sticker that I really wanted to have. Yeah, it's just been one of those weeks, though. I'm really glad that it's impendingly over. And it's, you know, it's not, the problem is, it's not anything so significant happened. It's just, it just felt like every, everything that, like little things that could go wrong. If I was going to spill a coffee, I was going to spill a coffee. Or if I was going to mess up or do something wrong, I was going to make sure to do it this week. We all have those weeks. We just gotta pray for grace and guidance. That's what we gotta do, right? That's what we gotta do. <clears throat> I'm loving the way that this is turning out. Although I have this like random little orange bunny. I didn't think about that. Although it's Easter, so you gotta you gotta use it. That's all right. Other than my pink and turquoise bunny theme. Alright, so Sunday is Easter. So I'm gonna pop a few of these. These will be probably pretty to uh, see in the corners. I'm pretty sure that this sticker isn't really a sticker. Oh, I finally found it. It was, it was just hiding from me. Do another one on the edge over there. 
you know, I'm really bad about holiday planning. I'm, I'm not holiday planning. Well, I'm bad about that too, but I'm bad about like decorating planning for the holidays because <clears throat> I just really get, I wonder if I can move this money without damaging it. I just really forget when I'm thinking about the week ahead and it always, the holidays are always so far. Like if you're planning the week before, then you at least have a week normally in between the time that you're, you're planning versus the time that the holiday is. So it's hard sometimes because I just forget to do it. So I have not used any of my like, like my uh, four leaf clovers for St. Patty's Day or anything like fun like that. Okay, this is where we're gonna have a little couple pops of color with these uh, little Easter eggs that are just gonna kinda spart out. And traditionally, I don't use this planner as much on the weekends. Like this is like, I, I don't really use it because this isn't my main planner, so it's not. <coughs> it is my favorite one to decorate, <coughs> but it's not my main planner. Um, so I don't use it as much on the weekends. So I don't have as I, I don't have a need as much for like the Sundays and everything like that. So it's it's okay if it gets a little if it gets a little crowded or discombobulated. We're gonna use this other bunny too. Bunny, 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 bunny. Yeah, and my main, um, in the big, not the big, my main, but the classic size, I have two of these because I used my Christmas ones and I wanted my Christmas ones again. So, yeah, that was, that was part of my, uh, I can't, I can't go without Christmas. Every week in December was like a Christmas threw up on my plan. I don't even know how people do anything different because I just love it so much. All right, that's that. Let's go back here. I might want a couple more flowers scattered. Or do I? Or do I? No, I don't think I do. And like these are so, they are springy, but these are just definitely springy. You don't have to use these on just any specific. They're just really lighthearted spring colors. Yeah, it was just funny that spring came and like during, like spring was, the first day of spring there was snow, like impending snowstorm. And we've had a, a long winter and I will tell you that there is no, we have not really had, it has not really been that um, a Saturday. I think we're gonna do this Friday. Um, it has not really been that cold this winter. I mean, in spurts it has been, but... Oh. All right, I'm feeling like I've, I've, I'm gonna overcrowd it and not have any room to write, so I'm probably gonna have to... Look at Sunday, it's like a cluster of like randomness. It's like Easter Sunday, it's like church, Easter. We're gonna have brunch in there somewhere, so I might have to have a brunch sticker. Um, they, so we live in a town where there's very few like <clears throat> delicious buffets and um, ironically on Easter is one of the only days that we have any restaurants in town that do like a really nice buffet and so we go to it every year. there somewhere that's like <clears throat> there's lunch date wouldn't you think there'd be brunch maybe brunch is in the I know that there's brunch stickers I mean it could be lunch all right well we won't worry about that for right now so yeah so I think that that's pretty much my Easter themed <clears throat> um, themed week and I gotta say I'm really enjoying if it wasn't for the orange sticker ignore that I'm really enjoying the pink and blue combination together so much to the fact that I think the next week I might do pink and blue in my main planner setup 
So really loving it. It's very lighthearted and cheery. I'm gonna bring it in a little closer just to give you like a little bit better of a view. We definitely have a busy church. It's gonna be super busy. Gotta get the baskets ready. Um, really excited about this. I'm very excited about Easter this year. <clears throat> My son is now at the age where like he understands. He's three. I mean, he's going to be four, but he's three, and he understands like the concepts of like Christmas was really exciting for him, and um, Easter is really exciting for him, and he really likes to open eggs so and and do egg hunts. So that's gonna be really fun. He was like that last year too, but a little bit more this year. And I probably have a few years, and then he'll be like, a, a, you know, like a preteen, and then they get kind of obnoxious. So, well, <laughs> I say that if you have preteens, I'm sure your kids are adorable, but I'm sure that they're obnoxious too, because let's just be real, kids are just obnoxious at times. So we're adults. Everyone is, I guess. So yeah, so I'm very happy with this, loving it. I'm gonna fill it in and use it for this week. Hopefully it's gonna be a better week than last week. I know it will. And so excited you were able to join me. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content and have a blessed and wonderful day.